The story of Jonah. Long, long ago, there was a man named Jonah who lived a good life and always obeyed God's laws. He thought of himself as a true man of God. Jonah was a hard worker. Through his labels, he was able to buy chickens and a donkey and a goat. One day, God spoke to Jonah. Jonah, huh? Jonah, who is that? My ear in ditch. Jonah, I am the Lord of God. There is a city called Nineveh far away. It is filled with people that have become wicked lives. They have forgotten about kindness and helping others. Why are you telling me about them, God? Because I want you to go there and tell those wicked people I am going to destroy them in their city because of their wicked ways. Yes, Lord, I will go, but they won't listen. They're evil. The more Jonah thought about it, the more uneasy he became. That night, Jonah did not sleep very well. No, it'll hurt me. Nineveh is so far. They'll laugh at me. No! Jonah was denying God's plan for him. Nineveh? Those people don't even know about God. Why should they believe me? They might even try to kill me. The more Jonah thought about those wicked people, the more frightened he became. He decided to run away from God. That very night, he packed his clothes and hurried to the seaport. That the next morning, he saw a ship that was getting ready to sail far across the sea. Who? Oh, who goes there? Uh, Jonas, sure. Uh, please, Captain, let me come with you. I'll give you all my money for a place on your ship. Huh, looks like trouble to me. Yes, I wonder what he's running away from. Well, I guess we can find a place for you. Jonah boarded the ship and hid deep in the hold, as far away from God as he could. At last, he saw the anchor being drawn up onto the deck. At last, we're heading out to open sea. God will never find me now. <sighs> I'm going to have a new life for myself. As soon as the ship was, fa was far from land, God sent a storm, for no one can hide from God. Sent God sent great gusts flying over the sea and waves tossing over the ship. Men, on deck, we're taking on overboard. Captain, we're sinking. We need to overboard the ship. Throw the cargo overboard. And all the sailors went under the went went inside the ship. Look, he's sound asleep. We need all hands on deck. Deck. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Come, we have no time to wake him now. As the sailors closed the door, Jonah War fell asleep. That uh, outside, it was dark as night. The sailors began to throw the cargo overboard. Jonah ran upon deck. Only one thing will save the ship. Stop! Stop! You must throw me into the water instead. What are you saying? We can't throw an innocent man into this angry sea. Listen, God has sent this storm to punish me. Punish? Why? I tried to run away from him, and now he has found me. If we throw him over now, he'll surely drown. But the wind and the waves are too much for us. We have no choice. The sailors grabbed Jonah and threw him into the sea. The sea became calm. Down, down, down into the sea sank Jonah. Gasping and nearly drowning, but God was not yet fi finished with Jonah. He sent a big fish to swallow Jonah in one gulp. Jonah found himself in the stomach of a great fish. Oh, it's so dark in here. What will become for me now? Maybe God will still hear me. Jonah turned to the Lord. Lord, thank you for saving me. 
Inside the fish, Jonah prayed for three days. I'm sorry I tried to hide from you. Please let me out of this terrible prison. I will do as you commanded. God heard Jonah and knew he had changed. He made the fish spit out Jonah onto the land. Thank you, merciful Lord, for delivering me safely to land. Now, Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell those wicked people I am going to destroy them. Yes, Lord, I'm listening. I'm on my way. Jonah entered the city, calling to the people. People of Nineveh, listen to me. The Lord God will destroy you and your city. Stop your wicked ways. What? Did you hear that? You have angered God. He says the Lord is angry with us. Why? What have we done? You are vain and selfish. Maybe if we change our ways, we've been too concerned with our fancy clothes. You are greedy and unkind. We should share our riches with the poor. You are wasteful as the poor star. We've been eating too much and not caring about our hungry neighbors. It's true. We've been selfish. God will punish you. We must all pray to the Lord for forgiveness. The people heard Jonah, prayed to God, and, be, and began maining their ways. Meanwhile, God, Jonah climbed a hill above the city and sat down to watch God dis, dis, destroy it. He waited and waited. I feel like a fool. All my work has wasted. God is not destroying Nineveh. Jonah, yes, Lord. Jonah, will you never learn my love? My love is great. It is greater than my anger, and it is for all my creatures. Didn't I give you another chance? Yes, you did. Now I am giving the Ninevites another chance. Go now, Jonah, and try to love as I do. Then you will be a true man of God. Yay for God! He has forgiven us! Yay! Rah! Hooray! So Jonah began his long journey home and tried to love as God had taught him. The end.